This is the new and improved version. The other version had this stupid thing right here to press D-pad that was similar to this one, but it sucked balls because it couldn't press and hold the D-pad, but this one does. He <laughs> watch. Run, you whore. Oh. Press A. Press A. That's going to go down three times to go to higher driver. After it waits a little while, of course. Mm -hmm. Go, you whore. F, come on. If you don't come on, I'm punching the balls. Come on, slut. How many seconds do you wait? I forget. Like 30, I think. Alright, and with the driver, press A. Now it's holding down the D-pad to go to the cheapest driver. <laughs> then it let up and then press A to confirm and then press A again. Or no, A to select and then A to confirm. Then it's going to press A again to start the race and then wait like freaking an hour and some minutes. The race starts, so it finishes. It presses A like two or three, four times, something like that, to confirm all the selections and all this bull, and it starts over again. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, that's the programmable brick. And, oh yeah, I added these tire deals because it was sliding all over the place, but now it's pretty sturdy. I reinforced all kinds of crab right here. All kinds of S, the controller system there, a lot more sturdy, or a lot more sturdy? Whatever. Now an S, and... Here's the detail view of the A button deal. Oh, F, since it's running the motor, wants it to, wants it to stay in that position. So I won't let me press it. And cable management, of course. <laughs> I'll work it into here. And I'll let S. Okay, I guess this video is wrong enough. I hope it now uploads to F and, or, well, attaches to email. If not, I'm going to send you a link to a download. <laughs> okay.